it's the crypto lightsaber back with another video guys we are going to do an update on splashive okay guys we're going to talk about the price of splash we're going to talk about the colonial mindset the drip maxi mindset you know reminds me of the xrp community the xrp army uh, those people that don't want to give anything else a chance while everything else is pumping around them they're still sat you know with their narrow mind focused on one bag and you know trying to shoot down other people for diversifying their portfolios i'm so sick and tired of those clowns in the comment section you know even when i made the last video right I'm, i talked about splashive um i made uh this video let's just go to my channel okay so i made this video on splashive and i said you know what um i bought another thirty thousand dollars uh, between splashive and drip okay guys now when i made that video uh, the price of splash was down here at about a dollar 85 okay i actually bought uh, the splash and it pumped to about you know two dollars and fifteen cents it pulled back a little bit but what you see now is you see the price coming all the way up and pumping and pumping over the last couple of days to three dollars and thirty six cents okay guys so we're looking at almost a hundred percent from about a dollar eighty to about three dollars and sixty that would be about a hundred percent okay guys and instead of those people deciding you know what I'm going to buy this thing while it's at the bottom, okay? Um, they're too busy in the comment section trying to spread hate and um, trying to tell me somebody who, this is my full time, right? This is what I do full time, it's crypto, right? I don't work for anybody else. I'm not going to start taking orders from people in the comment section telling me, don't you dare, don't ever talk about Drip and Splassive in the same video again. Splassive is dead and all this sort of stuff. I don't take orders from people, right? I'm not a follower, right? I'm a leader. I don't have a colonial mindset, right? I have a contrarian mindset, okay, guys? So, you know, I like to do the opposite of what other people are doing sometimes. And sometimes it pays off and sometimes it uh, it, it doesn't, all right? That's just, you know, that's normal, right? That's, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's risk and reward with everything. But people like to talk about things when they're up. And this is what you'll probably start to see happening, right? Lots of people who stop talking about Splassive will all of a sudden start talking about it again when it's pumping, pumping, doing something crazy. They don't want to talk about it when it's down here. They don't want to buy it when it's down here. They'd much rather buy it when it's up here. Just like a lot of people did with Drip. Okay, they bought Drip at 100 plus, $150, $190. Okay, guys. And now that it's down to about $17, $18. Okay. Um, you know, they, you know, a lot of people don't want to talk about it. There's, there is still a lot of people talking about it, but going back to that, uh, you know, that drip maxi mindset, that colonial mindset, some people, they just can't seem to diversify, right? Um, what I was doing is while the price of drip was up, I was taking profits from drip, right? I was taking profits and I was putting that into other projects. I was diver diversifying some. Okay, so this is what this is the way I see it, right? You, you got big influencers that will tell you to look. You just need to compound, 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 right? I have one account on Drip that I compound. I've got two accounts, right? I've got one account that I compound, right? I've got one account, my bigger account, which I both withdraw from. I compound some, and I withdraw some, and I diversify into other projects, okay? Uh, this is something that I've been talking to people in my Telegram group about. In terms of strategy, I don't need anybody else's strategy, right? I have my own, because I'm not a follower, right? I'm a leader, right? And, and, you know, I don't have to lead a thousand people. As long as I'm leading myself, right, and I'm making my own decisions, that's good enough for me, okay? So if I literally had no subscribers... Nobody, uh, you know, um, um, you know, uh, we, who cared about my strategy or anything like that. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that I care about my strategy and I have my own strategy because I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. OK, guys. Um, so I was diversifying, you know, and taking profits from drip, buying into other things. Now that the price is down, not only have I been able to compound, right? Uh, compound some so like, like I've got the separate account where I literally only compound okay very rarely do I do a withdrawal from it um, and then I have the other account where I compound I withdraw some uh, I yeah I claim some uh, you know I'm also able to buy drip back at a much lower price 
because I was taking profits when it was up high, okay? Uh, what's the saying? It's buy low, sell high. A lot of people, just they just want to completely ignore that. Anything that you're making on Drip, Splassive, or any other cryptocurrency, you haven't made that money until you cash out some of the profit. There's, there's a thing called realized profit and loss. So you haven't realized those gains, okay? Yes, you've got a certain amount in monetary value, but unless you cash some of it out, I mean, you haven't because that monetary value can change tomorrow, okay? Just like we saw on Splassive when the exploit happened, okay? Which is why some people are salty about the thing, okay? Uh, Splassive was, uh, where was it? It was about, was it over $50? I can't remember, okay? When the exploit happened, it came down, right? Um, so, you know, these are the things you have to consider, okay? When uh, when is a good time to take profit and start, you know, scaling out some profits and diversifying yourself, uh, diversifying, leaving some in stable coins to be able to take opportunities and buy the dip, right? You can't buy the dip if you ain't got no stable coins, right? Uh, so, so, yeah, it's just funny when people come in the comment section, they've got this drip maxi colonial mindset, right? Um, the only reason they're drip maxis is because it's very clear they do not know how to diversify, okay? Uh, there are projects that I've made a lot more money on the drip, personally myself, okay? And, you know, um, and that's just, you know, the truth of the matter, okay? So, anyway... Looking at the price of Splash, $3.37, doing extremely well, okay, doesn't need to be said, you can see it, right, if we go to the tap, okay, when I made the last video, um, before I topped up, I had about seven, eight thousand dollars in there, I topped it up to about nineteen, twenty thousand dollars and now, after the price appreciation, my account is up to $34,000. Uh, $400 okay and this is paying out 2% a day not 1% so I'm not getting $340 a day I'm getting twice that okay so close to $700 a day at the time of recording this video and that's just in one ROI DAP okay and what I can do with this is I can claim it I can compound it now because my account is so high compounding I'm going to get a lot more compounding power out of the fact that I bought the dip right Compounding $700 a day is better than compounding $70 a day, right? Uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, for me, I can compound some, I can withdraw some, claim some, okay? Um, you might see the price of Wave has been going up as well. Let's just check the price of Wave, okay? Obviously, Wave being like the uh, BR34P token of this project. I've been holding Wave all the way through anyway, okay? And, um, yeah, the price of Wave is starting to move again. Um, you know, huge pump from Wave. And it just goes to show that people are, you know, still hyped. They still, yeah, I mean, the truth of the matter is there's lots of influencers that were talking about Splash that are not talking about Splash anymore. But the truth of the matter is they still hold Splash. They, like, if you were in the tap before the exploit, you're in the tap after the exploit. So it doesn't really make sense to uh, abandon your own bags just because there were some issues, right? Um, you know, uh, people who were talking about Splash before the exploit, excuse me, people who were talking about Splash before the exploit had people that followed them into Splash before the exploit. So it doesn't make sense to abandon all of those people that use your body link, right, who followed you into Splash that are depending on promotion uh, those people that they followed in uh, initially, depending on those people to continue to, you know, support the bag, support their community, um, you know, talk about Splassive, do whatever they do to, to help promote it, uh, to champion this thing and champion, you know, this thing for the community, right? Um, it doesn't make sense to abandon all of those people that followed you in. So, you know, for me to, you know, continue to talk about a project, uh, first of all, I'm a holder, right? I'm in the tap, whether I like it or not. I remember an influencer, I mean, big drip influencer, and I remember he says, you know, um, you know, will I get back into Splassive? No, when it when it gets turned back on. I remember leaving him a comment and saying, you know what, you're going to be in Splassive regardless because, you know, your balance has been restored. I didn't think he realised that his balance had been restored. And after that, he may, maybe he realised his balance had been restored, All right, guys, but... The truth is, whether you wanted to be in Splash or not after the exploit, if you were in it before, you ain't really got a choice. You're in it anyway. And nobody's going to turn down 
money, especially when you're invested into it, okay, what you're going to do, just not claim Splassive, okay, so what am I going to do, just not claim it, you know, not talk about it, when I'm holding it, and I'm locked into the tap, regardless, until this, you know, until my max payout is reached, right, so it, it benefits myself, it also benefits and helps all of the, those people that follow me into this thing in the, in the first place, right, so, you know, I'm going to continue to talk about Splassive. And not only that, I genuinely believe it's a good project, okay? In terms of the price action, right? Um, yes, we have seen some downside. We have seen some downside. Uh, but, you know, what's new? Um, have we not seen some downside in Bitcoin? Have we not seen some downside in Drip? For those that are, you know, Drip maxes, right? What has Drip been doing since $119? It's fallen all the way down to about $15, Right? I'm one of the people that's buying it while it's down, you know, take advantage, right? Take advantage of the opportunities, like of, you know, the, the negative price action. So with splash are coming down, what do you do? You take advantage of the, the negative price action, right? Before it turns into positive price action. So for me, buying down here, I don't, don't have any regrets, right? I, I, I understood that it probably could come down more. But if you look at the chart, it looked like it was bottoming out. It looked like it was a good time to buy it. This, you would call a double bottom right here. So I bought it, right? And since then, it's been pumping. So I'm pretty happy about that entry that I got there. Uh, like I said, it gives me more compounding power to increase my account. It gives me more withdrawal power to be able to diversify into other projects, pay bills or, or do whatever you do with, you know, with your, with your claims. And yeah, I mean, I'm still bullish on this project. Okay, what more can I say? They've got things coming in the pipeline. They're still developing behind the scenes. The developers, now, if you look at uh, uh, Splash, right? At the time when Splash was exploited, elephant money was also exploited. The animal farm was on pause, right? And Splash came back on the scene or relaunched their project in less than a month, right? So in terms of, you know... Um, Timing, you know, people call, you know, they talk about time rugging and things like that. The splash, uh, you know, they, they managed to, you know, sort things out quickly. They could have avoided the whole thing in the first place, you know, um, which is another story. But they managed to relaunch the thing and get it all back up and running quite quickly, which, you know, you've got to give them credit for, in my opinion. Not only that, they developed, they come out with splash pads. They've got a game which is launching soon. Okay, so for me, am I still bullish on Splashive? Of course I am. Okay, guys, I don't get in it to, uh, for airdrops. Okay, I'm not doing it for airdrops uh, to, so I can get airdrops from somebody. Okay, I'm putting my own money where my mouth is and I'm creating my own opportunities. That's what these dApps are about creating your own opportunity, creating your own passive income. Okay, guys, so with that being said, it's the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. Let me know what you think about Splassive. And, you know, if you're a Drip Maxi and you're a hater, don't even bother. See you guys in the next video.